Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to episode 3 of This Far. In today's episode, there are a few things I want to do. We're not going to be working on Phallus today. Unless I have some extra time in the episode, we might work on a little bit of Phallus. But my current plan is to not work on Phallus at all in this episode, and instead see if we can get three with our Skeleton Skulls and an Iron Farm built. So yeah... I have a lot of work for ahead of me, because if I want to build an iron farm and get three wither skeleton skulls, it's going to be a lot of work that's needed to go into that. So I think I want to start working on the wither skeleton skulls right now, and then work on the iron farm later and put it all together in like a time lapse. So this episode might be a little time lapse heavy. Um, but before we get into it, if you guys like what I do here, I do survival games creative and building games, uh, consider hitting the subscribe button, and it really helps me, and it's free for you. Uh, so let's get right into the video. Okay, everyone, I have done a little bit of work. As you can see, oh, right down there, I've dug that down a little bit. We might need to continue that on some of the other pillars, depending on how much of this uh, nether brick we use. Now, I have also went ahead and installed the Vanilla Tweaks Brighter Nether te Texture Pack. Um... It, the link to Vanilla Twix is in the description, uh, but I'm not going to be changing my pack, because you see I actually have just, I just literally just went in, Vanilla Tweaks, Brighter Nether, and then installed it. And, and so it just makes it so much brighter. But now what we need to do is we're going to need to build a platform for these, for the Wither Skeletons to spawn. And honestly, depending on the spawns, we might go around and like spawn proof this area, but I'm not sure just because the nether's gonna be reset. I don't know if I've said this before, but the nether's gonna be reset when 116 when we update to 116, which is gonna be after 116 comes out, because I want to either have Optifine and or the replay mod, preferably I was definitely go for the replay mod. But if Optifine's out and I really need to update, I'll do it, but I really want the replay mod. But I'm rambling. Anyways, um, before we get to the next clip, I would like to thank you guys for 11 subscribers. Um, at the time of me editing this, we actually have 13 subscribers, so thank you for that instead of the 11, and the 11, of course, but thank you for the 13 as well. Um, let's get back into the video. Having said that, we just hit that milestone, and that's fantastic. Uh, thank you guys so much, and uh, yeah, enjoy this next little time lapse of us building up a platform. <laughs> Everyone, uh, as you can see from that montage, we actually got five wither skeleton skulls right here from 89 withers. And since then, we've actually gotten a sixth one, but I left it back at base on accident. And so the five wither skulls was like from 89 skeletons, and that's a 5.6% chance, so it's 0.1% higher than usual. Now, if we go down here, I have killed 100 exactly, which means that's one, that means every 20, no, that would be for five, actually, how many would that be? One second, I'm going to do the math real quick. So everyone, it actually appears that it is a 6% drop rate, which is actually a lot 
better than usual? Yeah, actually, 5.6% would be a lot better than usual anyways. By 0.1%, I misspoke earlier. So 6% when the usual is 5.5, so it's 0.5% it's more than usual, which is really nice, actually. And we died twice in the first 89 withers, skeletons. Now, we're going to go and build a... Iron Farm, which I actually did right before I got the 6th Wither Skeleton Skull. I got the 5 before the Iron Farm and the 6th after that. So if I mention in a clip there that I am going to go... I might go get a 6th Skull, that's why. I did get a 6th Skull, it did not take that long, which is why we're here. So we're going to go fight two Withers right after that. And uh, so enjoy another time lapse right now.
Well, everyone, um, hope you enjoyed those time lapses. I built an iron farm, as you could see in those time lapses. I hope you knew it was an iron farm. Sorry, I did say it was going to be a building an iron farm. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm working through some computer problems. My brain's kind of all over the place currently, but the design in the video tutorial that I was watching from Illumango used daylight sensors, but were underground, and I didn't feel like having a giant pit with lights, and I've used this type of this design before, and it didn't really work, and actually I think we can even fit a third module in here, with the amount of space that we saved, so we might do that, we might not, I know we'll certainly need to get a villager breeder going here for that, Looks like we only got one iron golem then, but that could just be a coincidence. But it's working, and that's what matters. And I don't care that this is inefficient, and I'm pretty sure it's in the same chunk, so it shouldn't shut down. But I'll be checking it. I really don't care that it's inefficient, like I said. Like, I just need something that gives me iron, and this this gives a lot more than I could... Like, it's, it's been running for a few minutes. It gives a lot more than, than I really need. Or, sorry, that I could really get caving or mining. And it's going to help for the beacon that we're going to get shortly. I haven't killed the wither yet. I'm debating getting another wither skeleton skull just because... You know, it looks like... Looks like we're missing out on an iron golem. I did hear some zombie in this area, so there could be some cave that these guys spawned a golem in. So I'm going to have to check in the replay mod, but... I'm going to figure out how to get out of here as well. But anyways, um, let's cut straight to me fighting the Wither. Well, everyone, um, before we go fight the Wither, I just need to bring you guys back in to explain how I fixed the Iron Farms. It actually wasn't working. It had stopped working. And I think what happened is these villagers on each side decided to pathfind to the workstations on the other side, meaning they couldn't work, which then made it so that they couldn't spawn Iron Golems. Which actually is something that's changed in 116. So this issue won't even happen in 116. It's just that currently we're in 115 still. Only one spawn there. That. Ah, eh, you know, that's fine. But what I did to fix it is I basically just dug this pit down two blocks and just continued the slabs there. So iron golems and mobs can't spawn. Oh, we got two. That's nice. And that seems to have fixed it. I had tried putting a trapdoor above that, their heads and. It appears that since they're spawning too, it doesn't work. I'd also tried putting this redstone torch on this block here to see if it was something like this. I think I'm going to keep it like this just because the guy's up and down for the exact same amount of time, and I think that's probably better. But we did get around a stack of blocks from this, and then it just stopped working. <laughs> and I probably AFK it at for three or four hours while it wasn't working. So we probably could have gotten, I think it's like, 500 iron an hour don't remember i don't know the exact rates but we could have gotten a lot more iron than what we did but you know that's fine that's fine we'll just uh actually no if we can hit this guy with looting do we get more probably not but i'm gonna go get the stuff for a wither fight and we're gonna go fight two withers now so let's go do that okay everyone um we're here we just need to put the last wither skeleton skull here and then, uh, then we'll be able to start, <laughs> then we'll be able to start our, uh, fight against the wither here. Okay, now we just need to, just need to place this right here, and step back, screenshot, okay, wait for it to explode, and then just arrow it and continue moving down the path, and hope we, hope we, uh, I hope we don't die. This this bow is actually doing a decent amount of damage to this guy. You know, I think this is going to be real easy, actually. Okay, actually, we should probably move back. Oh yeah, we got this. There we go. Well, <laughs> that was a lot easier than I had thought it was going to be. <laughs> like, a lot easier. I mean, we might wither away here, but what happened to the skull we're supposed to get? 
Do I have that data back installed? I might not. Anyways, that's fine. So now we just need to fight it again. I'm, I kind of think we could just build the thing here and just fight it again. Right at the same spot. So, I mean, why not? We have the space already dug out. We just need to go like this, 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 this and then that. <laughs> and then run back, eat some food, draw our bow, and just kill this wither. Again, which is really simple. Just shoot it a few times with the... Okay, this actually might not have been the smartest idea to do it right here. Hey, look, some redstone. No, I just killed the redstone. Come on. I could have used that redstone. Anyways, well... Ah, uh, dude. <laughs> Sword, please. And, I mean, it's dead again. Yeah, see, we got the invulnerable withers. You know what? It could have been that it was blown up last time. How did we get- Okay, how did we get a wizard with a rose? How? There, there should have been- Should have been no passive creatures down here. Let's not die of wither, please. Oh, this is a long effect. Well, we have our two wither stars. Doesn't seem to be any danger, so we're just gonna <laughs> real quick put them in here. And, I mean, yeah. Now I just need to run down this long tunnel that- I didn't even need to go down the long- this long time, I could have gone down like a really short one. This only was what, maybe, maybe 25 at the most blocks. Yeah, well, okay. So um, I'm gonna run back up and we'll craft a beacon together. Okay, everyone, we have everything we need for this for these two beacons. Which okay, <laughs> one beacon and two beacons inventory. Got our beacons. <laughs> that was really dangerous. I'm not. I'm not doing that again. But we now have. <laughs> Two beacons, safely, kind of, in here. And, you know, I think we're going to take one. We're going to take some of our iron. I'm just going to put the iron back. You know, actually, we need one more ingot, so we might as well just grab this. Put this in here. And, you know, I actually don't know where I want to build this beacon up. Uh, I need the beacon for some projects for the city, but those are going to be later down the line. And I also need some stone and stuff. But, again, the city doesn't really use it. It uses cobblestone and andesite. Which, I mean, I guess we could set up a beacon mine. So, you know what? You know what? Let's make a shulker box. Actually, I think I have an empty shulker box in the other chest. Let's just put all of this in here. We'll rename this to the beacon box later. Let's put this in here. And this stuff in here, and let's fly over here, and let's make a beacon mine somewhere around here, just so we can get some stone, some cobblestone and andesite when we need it, so I'm just gonna go two like this, and I'll just go down to Y11, and we'll be back right back. Well, okay, everyone, I uh, have this entire area dug out, I mean, I could have done a square, but it's a lot easier, there's a lot less blocks this way. We did actually find a mob spawner right here, though. And I kind of wanted to show this to you guys, um, because we could do something with it for XP to repair our tools. I don't think they're that good for XP, but I don't know. We could try something. Then we don't have to fly all the way over to the Enderman farm and fly back. But I haven't opened this chest yet, and I want to open it with you guys just because I don't think we've ever done that. And, you know, I mean, the gunpowder and coal are probably, you know, the horse armor could be. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is not the greatest chest. But, eh, can't get it good every time. So, we now need to build this up. Which means just basically just filling this in right along here. This should be 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And we bring this all the way along here. Knocking out the torches that I just put in just so stuff didn't spawn. And we need to fill the entire base in. And it uses a ton of iron on the bottom level. But then as you get up. Use a, t a bit less, and this should snugly fit in here. Now we can just use the insta mine to mine out a path for us. Because uh, haste 2 and efficiency 5, if you didn't know for some reason, gives instant mine and it is just so useful. The amount of stone and resources you can. I trap myself. The amount of resource you can get from it is just incredible. Really? I thought it was a, a two and a half stacks. Well, I mean, see, this is why. This is why we have more. I'm just gonna put this in here. It's apparently it's more than two and a half stacks. Did do this right, right? Okay, you know, I have to say, I don't know if I like this beacon beam. This might be one of the few things I remove from this. I haste to ironing it. Done. Now we have insta mine. 
Oh, this is gonna be so nice for getting stone and resources. I should be using a fortune, my fortune pick for this because I need cobblestone for the roads, but, but honestly, right now it doesn't really matter. Wow. Oh, this is nice. Just gonna bring it down to this level here and just stick this over like this. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this was so worth the pain with the iron farm and the villagers and getting the skulls and axe to how long? I think it was an hour, two, two hours at most to do it. I guess move these over one. Wow, that's that's nice. Well, everyone, I think I think that's going to do it for this video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, consider subscribing. It really helps me out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.